Hi guys, welcome to the realm of astrology. This is your daily horoscope for 20th August 2021, which is a Friday. But before we begin, I would request you to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can know every time I post a video. And I also want to let you know that I do daily video horoscopes just like this one, weekly video horoscopes and monthly sun rising sign horoscopes that you can watch on my YouTube channel. Okay, so that being said, let's talk about what's happening in the astrology today. And last night, the moon changed signs and entered the sign of Aquarius. And the moon changes signs every two and a half days. So the moon will be here for, the, for about another two days. And here we will have the full moon in Aquarius, which is on August 22nd. So the moon's in the Aquarian energy now. And when the moon changes signs as it did yesterday, the energy in our life, the focus of our life shifts in subtle ways. The moon before this was in Capricorn, which was about working, which was about discipline, which was about decisions, right? A lot of work. But the moon in Aquarius is about finding our unique, authentic self, right? It's about it's pretty much about finding our unique, authentic self, and it's also about building the life that started with us in December of 2020. So every month when the moon comes into Aquarius, we build that life with more intensity, a little bit more. And that's because Saturn and Jupiter met up, conjuncted in the sign of Aquarius in December of 2020 and started a new 20-year cycle. So that's the moon in Aquarius, right? And the first aspect that it makes is at about 11 a.m. Pacific time, which is almost midnight India time. And that is a trine to Venus. Now, this is positive, And I feel this is an energy where we feel because the moon is our emotions, right? It's in our heart and soul. And Venus is our projects. It's our relationships. It's our finances. It's our skills, self-worth values. So at this moment, we feel positive about, say, our relationships, our projects, our finances. The skills that we are learning there's a positive feeling about these things and it could very well be in connection to the new life that we've been building maybe the life that we've been building is making us feel good connected to venus things so that's a positive aspect that happens and then soon after this the moon's going to move on and it's going to make another positive aspect here the moon in Aquarius is going to trine the north node, 120 degree angle, and sextile the south node, 60 degree angle. Now, what essentially this is, is that our emotions, the moon, is in a positive aspect with the north node, our goals, the life that we are building, the goals that we've set for ourselves, right? So again, this is a positive feeling about where we are headed. And this could very well be that we, we feel positive about a project. For example, we feel at about 11 a.m. Pacific time, we begin to say, okay, you know what? This project in my life, I, I see it uh, becoming something. I feel good about it. And soon after that, at 2 p.m. Pacific time, which makes it 2, 2 a.m. India time, we say, okay, yeah, you know, this project is working out really well. And I think I'll reach my goals. I'm feeling very good about my goals as well, about the life that I'm building. Because the moon in Aquarius is about building that new life that started in December of 2020. So this is a feel-good energy as well. And as we move towards our goals, as we begin to feel positive about our goals, we let a little bit of the past go, a little bit more of the past go because it's in a sextile to the south node. The south node is our past. It's what we are leaving behind. And at this point, it's becoming easy to leave that past behind because we are feeling good about the future, where we are headed, our goals. And soon after this, we have at about 5 p.m. Pacific time, which makes it about 5 a.m. India time, Saturday morning, we have the moon conjunct Saturn. Now this can feel stressful because Saturn is the planet of hard work and decisions and discipline, right? And the moon is our emotions. So we might be required to take an emotional decision, define something emotionally, or just work hard. And all this has to do in connect as and is in connection with the new life that started in December of 2020. 
So yes, we felt good in the morning. We felt good about our projects, relationship, finances, skills. We felt good about our goals. We said, yeah, you know, I can see this materializing. I can see this happening. And then towards the evening at 5 p.m. Pacific time, 5 a.m. India time, Saturday morning, we say, okay, I need to take a decision about something. All right, I see these things going well. I feel good about it. I feel like I can put in the hard work or something like that. And although this moon in Aquarius will help us build for the future, whenever it is in, whenever the moon is in contact with Saturn, it can feel stressful. So just be mindful of that. Yeah. But it's not necessary that it will feel stressful. It might. But I, I think because we do have two positive alignments happening before this conjunction, this decision or this definition or this need to work hard comes quite stress-free without the stress. But stress can happen because Saturn is like that. And let me also mention that Saturn here has been trining the North Node for months, months. And this means that Saturn here, the planet that's a builder, the planet of the long run, the planet of hard work, decisions and discipline is helping us towards our goals, is helping us achieve our goals. So Saturn is supporting us and that's a great thing. So I just thought I'd mention that, that all through these months, we've had the help of Saturn in helping us work hard, in helping us take decisions, in helping us move towards our goals. And soon after this, we have another positive aspect. And that is the moon in Aquarius at about 11 p.m. Pacific time, which makes it about noon, Saturday, India time, is going to, the moon is 12, here, right here, is going to sextile Chiron. Now, Chiron is our wound, but it's also how we heal. So this is a healing to our emotions. And I do not think this is bittersweet because it's in a sextile positive. I do think it is um, a healing that will not feel stressful, that will not feel bittersweet. And perhaps all this happens because of what the moon has been through. It's been through a trine with Venus. It's been through a trine with the North Node. It's conjuncted Saturn, yes. But with the trines, I think we felt very good about our goals, where we are headed, and we were able to take that decision, which typically would be stressful, but in this case, I don't feel it is, and that has led to some sort of healing. And that's pretty much it for today, but I do want to mention that the moon is in Aquarius, where we will have the full moon. So just be mindful of that, and this full moon is very special. It's the second full moon we are having in the sign of Aquarius this year. And typically, we don't have two full moons in, a, in the same sign in a year. So this is special. And another thing about this full moon is that it is, be, it is going to be a point of clarity and understanding of something that started in December of 2020, perhaps even a culmination point. But we'll talk about all those things in the full moon video. And now I do want to mention that Mars has hit 14 degrees. It is trining Uranus. It's not exact, but you can say it is trining Uranus. And this is an energy. This is a lot of energy, right? Mars is action, it's willpower, it's drive, it's courage, and Uranus is sudden and unexpected. So this can be a sudden, unexpected drive that, that we find in ourselves, sudden, unexpected courage, or the willingness to take action, or sudden, unexpected action that we take right? And because it's Uranus, it is sudden and unexpected, but it is also something that will propel us towards our unique self. And it will come about quite naturally and it will feel good, not like last month or the month before when Mars squared Uranus. Then we took action when Mars squared Uranus, but that action felt challenging. It felt like, I have to do this. I want to do this but it's feeling difficult this time it's not like that so that's it and now i will give you the big picture of 2021 now these are energies that we deal with on a daily basis and this is you can say these are the themes of 2021 and the first is the uranus saturn square of 2021 these planets are squaring after 21 years so it's it's not something we feel every day or that comes about often right 
and this energy is asking us to embrace the new and get rid of the old it's also asking us to embrace a unique authentic self and since they're in a square this process can feel quite stressful that being said the intensity of this energy is not very high right now it will become high towards the end of the year it was very high in june but right now it's a little less the second thing about 2021 is that it is a year that we are going to lay the foundation of what of two new cycles that started last year the first saturn jupiter conjunction of december of 2020 now these planets met up after 20 years and started a 20 year cycle that we are building in 2021 the second is the saturn pluto conjunction of jan of 2020 these planets met up after 38 years and ended a cycle that started in 1982 and started a cycle that changed our material reality in a very powerful way and in 2021 we are building that as well so 2021 is all about change it's about finding a unique authentic self and embracing that and it's about laying the foundation for two new long-term cycles that started in 2020 and that's the big picture of 2021 and now i will pick a card for today so let's do that Best time to go and I, I feel this card is referring to the full moon that we are building up to and it's saying that whatever started in December that has reached its not culmination in a way culmination but we will continue to build that life for the next two years but it's reached a point where we can fully understand and step into that new life although we will continue to build it and lay the foundation for it for the next few years but i think a lot of the hard work we've put in we have put in by now we've put in a lot of the hard work and it's time to go it's type time to take off when it comes to that new cycle i usually get this card in my monthly sun sign rising sign horoscopes i don't get it in the dailies so this is a rare thing for a daily horoscope time to go but i think we are ready we are ready to step into the new life more one more step fully understand it the life that started in december of 2020 with the saturn jupiter conjunction so that's all i'm going to say for today and um, i hope you guys have a great day i will see you tomorrow for the weekend horoscope and the full moon video so bye